love peace and unity through art and culture yes guys you have been hearing it again and again and i have been telling you this same byline many times but yes that's the agenda of icmei international chamber of media and entertainment industry and this time it's morocco hello ladies and gentlemen i again welcome you to today's talk and i'm at the second day of the third global fashion and design week and i'm in conversation with his excellency mohammed maliki who's the ambassador of morocco so now i'm going to talk to him about the launch of indo moroccan film and cultural forum and of course gather his experience at the festival today hello sir welcome to marvel studios today thank you i'm quite happy to be here so we are eager to yeah. know about this launch of the cultural forum you just uh, had with icmi what are your plans under this and what you uh, have decided to do further in fact the the forum is a real window for not only the moroccan uh, arts culture and cinema to be showcased not only for the indian uh, friend but also worldwide as we have so many things in common to share and then because under this umbrella there will be hopefully so many events uh, whereby the the culture could make the two friendly and brotherly nations closer mm -hmm. because man and uh, people to people relations are very important in fostering and in getting people closer Basically. so there are some differently events which we will set up mm -hmm. with the uh, uh, people of the uh, the fashion uh, designers here and maybe on this third global fashion week to which or in which I'm quite uh, privileged with my colleagues to be attending which I think and I believe is a success and I'll be uh, as well as my team and my embassy uh, quite uh, available for making these things and for be being in the event as many times as possible we are expecting some great initiatives from your side uh, sir i would like to have a glimpse of morocco from you like how is the country how are the people there are the vibes there it's quite difficult to summarize a country like india or like morocco in a few minutes they are millennium countries mm -hmm. where the culture and heritage are brought from deep in the in the heart and then they have been cross civilizations mixers uh, morocco is a brand mm -hmm. worldwide it's a brand in fashion it's a brand in architecture it's a brand in history and uh, i believe in all the arab world morocco remains the closest country in terms of culture and of uh, clothes and of uh, traditions including the wedding traditions to india the first roads of spices were from kerala to marrakesh that was centuries back and then everybody remembers the famous ibn battuta mm -hmm. Uh, who was here, who was from Morocco, and then who lived in this part of the world more than two years. And then it showed that the, these two countries are very old civilizations, and they have counted. They have also fashioned the world somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, especially in the world of uh, designs and arts, I think there is a lot to share with others, a lot to share within the others and with the others. So hopefully that uh, the Morocco will be a little bit more understood, more known to this part of the world as you are looking west and we are looking east mm -hmm. into developing these kind of relations. Our aim is to turn the world into one whole unit because we believe that separation is just an illusion and oneness is the ultimate reality. So what about the film industry in Morocco? Do you watch some Bollywood films over there? I do. I do, and then uh, you may believe it. In the world, there are few countries who have cinemas only which showcase and screen Bollywood movies. Mm -hmm. In Morocco, there are so many cinemas which, up to now, they don't show any of the other uh, movies, but only the Bollywood movies. And especially that Bollywood movies have 
developed tremendously into from or from the scenery based mm. stories into real life uh, showcasing and then which interests in great deal. The second thing is the best way to understand also the culture of India, which is huge, in fact, there are so many cultures within one unity. Mm. It's through also the movies, and then the movies bring you the essence of all the culture and then the heritage into your home, into the cinemas, into the places where you would like to enjoy a certain moment. So it, it, it combines both knowledge exactly. And, uh, and entertainment. And then I think India has uh, the best example to offer the others. As regard the uh, cinema industry in Morocco, it's a well-developed one. We also have more and more Indian movies being shot there, mm -hmm. big productions. Okay. And uh, the facilities which are given are quite tremendous in the sense that any movie who, which is being shot and in, in, in Morocco, if it exceeds 18 days of shooting mm -hmm. and then $1 million, mm -hmm. the government gives back 20% for the total investment. Oh. It's one of the encouragements, like incentives. Uh, incentives. Right. Uh, besides, we have three good reasons to shoot in Morocco. Mm -hmm. The first one, we have the best natural lights that exist in the world. Okay. So the processing of movies become quite cheaper in comparison with the others. Mm -hmm. Second thing, we have the knowledge and how. So people don't need to take all their uh, people for the mm -hmm. movies, but they can lo hire locally. So the manpower is valid. Exactly. Thirdly, it's one of the countries which offers you different scenes every 50 to 100 kilometers. Okay. So you have many countries, many scenes within one range of kilometers drive. Mm -hmm. These are, apart from the fact, of course, it's an old country, it's also a breathtaking uh, scenery and then mm. diversity, uh, diversified nature and then culture. So I can see that there's so much which can be done under this forum and film directors, if you are waiting to shoot your movie, Morocco is the destination. Uh, so would you like to share your experience like you are an ambassador from Morocco to India. So how your experience in India has been and what is your take on India and Indians? Like what are your findings and observations? I hardly uh, admit that I'm already here for two years and a half almost, which means that, I, that time flies. And when time flies in your job, means you're enjoying your job. I'm enjoying the, enjoying the people, enjoying the place. Uh, like any other place, there are the challenges, but the, the advantages are minimal in India in terms of, of course, culture, but also in terms of opportunities, mm -hmm. both economic and cultural, and, and uh, take whatever facet of life, you will find that you are never associated in doing whatever you have to do in this country. And then my hope is that I, I during my tenure and then with the help of my colleagues, will be able to alleviate the kind of uh, uh, relations which we have in, with India into a higher level, to a strategic level. Uh, we want always to be on the top 10 of the relations which, uh, with India. But with something which people do not know, we are also contributing tremendously economically in India, especially in the agriculture sector. Mm -hmm. Because we have decided uh, to contribute to the food security of India a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And then one of the best foreign and public investments that exist uh, outside Morocco in Asia happen to be in India. Amazing. So we are really close and then the, the scope of cooperation remains uh, global. The strong will from both the top management and top leaders of our two countries are uh, quite aware of this thing and then we'll try to exploit this uh, level of trust and of understanding that exists between our two, uh, two countries, not only in the last few decades, mm -hmm. but our relations go back to the 10th and 11th and 12th centuries, relations which not all countries have with India. God bless both the countries and I wish them both a great, great, great future ahead and lots of growth. Uh, how was your experience today at Marva Studios after witnessing the Fashion Week and coming in the campus? What are your findings, your expression, your observation, your feelings? I was moving from one excitement to the other one so because I didn't have a broader idea. 
and then precise idea about the, the program. But once I reached here, I found that it was rich and then full of energy, full of uh, events which are masterly uh, made and also presented. So I can only congratulate both the, the team behind all this mega organization and at the same time on the top of home, of course, Mr. Marwa is a good friend who has been uh, the, uh, the leader behind this and then from out of friendship also that I have with him, I am sure that we'll be able to move onwards. But then the, the big part which I also admired is the social responsibility and then the, the possibility of offering this platform, a unique platform which has an outreach to many countries to sensitize people about uh, serious problems like the cancer today mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's only one example among the others. So the, it's, it's a holistic approach which I personally uh, liked in the, in the event which takes between getting to know, getting the fashion, enjoying and then of course it's a mesmerizing experience. We are really happy to host you over here and uh, I'm happy that we could fulfill your expectations. Thanks for coming to the studios today and gracing the occasion. All the pleasure was mine and I'm looking forward into more interaction and then to more cooperation between Morocco and then the, uh, the India as a whole and between my MBC and then of course the, your August institution. Thank you so much. Likewise. So guys, do you realize that uh, with team, with a great team, every motive, every good motive can be fulfilled and this is one of those motives, those initiatives. I see MEI, Indo-Moroccan Film and Cultural Forum. I'm wishing both the countries a very good luck and now I sign up for the day. But I'll be back with another amazing celebrity guest for you. Till then, you keep watching MSTV Harpal Aapke Saath.